welcome to the next episode of Art at Home, where I'm going to teach you how to make your very own art masterpieces. Today we will be making our very own stand-up salt painting rainbow. For your rainbow salt painting today, you'll need some cardboard, some white paint and a paintbrush, or some white paper and a glue stick, some liquid food colouring or inks or dyes. Uh, you might like to mix those with a bit of water to make them a bit runnier. Some PVA glue, a big thing of salt, um, some scissors and a grey lead to trace out the shape. Uh, the first step to creating your rainbow salt painting is to sketch out the shape or the arch of your rainbow. Once you're happy with the shape, you can cut it out. You might need an adult to help you with this bit because the cardboard is a little bit tricky to cut. Now in my first sample I painted it white but because I want to show you it here today I'm going to actually cover it with a piece of paper instead so I don't have to wait for it to dry. So what I'll do is I'll trace my rainbow shape onto a sheet of paper, cut that out and then I'll paste it onto the cardboard so I have a nice white background. You might like to keep the cardboard background, completely up to you. I just thought the white would make the colours really stand out. And the next step is to use your PVA glue and draw five rainbow lines. Make sure you've got something protecting your table because this can get really, really messy. You might use some newspaper or you might even do this in a, a large tub or um, container to just contain the salt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the salt over the PVA glue nice and thick. Once you've gen generously covered all of your PVA glue with some salt, you want to really gently shake off that excess salt. Give it a tap. There we go. Ooh. Tap, tap, tap. Now you can set this aside and let it dry before you add the ink, or you can, add, if you can't wait, you can add the ink straight away. So I'm going to be using some coloured inks, but you could use uh, food colour, food colouring from home straight from the little droppers, or you can put it in a palette like this and use your own dropper. Just maybe mix a little bit of water with the food dye so you don't waste too much. Um, so I'm going to start with my blue, draw some of that up, and you'll see as you drop it onto the salt, it travels up the salt, which is actually really exciting to watch. You'll have to make some rectangles for those slits we just made for the rainbow to sit in. Oops. We'll do two of those. I'm going to put a slit in the centre of those and that's where it's going to join to our rainbow. And then hopefully it stands up and we'll be able to display it in a, in a front window or on my bookshelf. That would be a really nice thing for me to look at, make me really happy. 
You don't have to do a rainbow, you could do whatever design you liked. Um, keep in mind that lines work best and to keep it your design not very complicated. There you have it, your standing rainbow. Thank you for watching. We can't wait to see your rainbow creations that you make. Remember to hashtag GiftsArt at home.